So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. iOS 14.5 is now out. The official version that Apple promised was coming last week at the spring loaded event. And this is a major update. iOS 14 includes the option to unlock your iPhone with your Apple Watch while wearing a face mask. Pretty cool. Add support for air tags and introduces skin tone variations in emojis with couples. Siri adds more diverse voice options, app tracking transparency, so more privacy feature coming here as well. But that's not all. There's plenty going on here. New Siri updates, privacy updates, you have new Apple Music updates, new podcast redesign application. I think in the future they're gonna have subscriptions as well. 5G improvements in addition adds dual SIM support for 5G connectivity if you are a dual SIM user. In news, you'll see a redesign news tab. We're gonna see accidents, hazards, and speed traps like we've seen in Waze and Google Maps for the Maps app and new reminders you can print from here as well now. A small update to CarPlay and a lot of little bug fixes down here. We do have iOS 14.4.2, 18D70, available storage down here of 19.22 gigabytes. Now the update did come in at 1.21 gigabytes for the iPhone 12. It could be less or more depending on the model you are using. Let us know how much it did come in for you down below. So I'm gonna let this thing update and I will be back when we are done doing this update. All right guys, so you can see it says your software has been updated, your iPhone has been updated to iOS 14.5. So heading into settings, we'll go into general up here and we'll go into software update and you'll see it says iOS 14 is up to date. Now you'll notice it's a little bit different here. It says iOS is up to date right there, a little bit of a different splash screen. And confirming the version, it's 14.5. The official is 18E199, so make sure that's the version you're on. And also you'll see we did gain back a little bit of space, so it's always nice to see a little bit more storage after doing an update that actually is supposed to, you know, take some storage to download. Okay, so let's start in Apple Music. So you'll see there's new lyric sharing, city charts, and a made for you section, which you can add to your own library. All right, so let's say you're in a song. You can go ahead and click the three dot menu and you can see right there, you can share the lyrics right there. Go back, you can see right here, city charts, right here, chart topping cities tell you what music's topping in that, you know, area. That's kind of cool because you can kind of see in the city, you know, basically whichever you live in, what's the pop of music around you. So pretty neat feature as well. And in library, there will be a made for you section as well. So very nice little updates to music. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it if you really do enjoy using the Apple Music app. Some people don't use this as a subscription, but if you do, you'll probably enjoy this. Okay. so. In Face ID settings, you can unlock with Apple Watch immediately. So you can basically, as long as you're wearing an Apple Watch and you have a Face ID iPhone with the mask on, you should be able to just unlock this without even touching anything. All right, so I'm wearing a mask. You can see I sound a little muffled. Check me out. So I'm wearing a KN95. All right, so I'm wearing a mask just to test this feature. That's why I sound a little muffled. Well, let's go ahead, close out the camera. We'll lock it up. We got the Apple Watch rolling right here, 7.4. And you can see if I look, should unlock real easily, even with that mask on. So let's look again, bang. So really neat, love it. You feel a little vibration on the watch. Let's do it again, bang. It shows it right there. Nicholas iPhone unlocked by the Apple Watch. You can also lock the iPhone in that short amount of time right there, but definitely I do like that feature a whole ton. No longer do other, you know, smartphones have that feature. No longer do you have to, I can say so much that, oh, you, you can't you unlock the iPhone with a mask. I've been talking about that for a while, but still, I don't like that you have to have an Apple watch for this. Not everybody has one, but it's just more of an incentive to go get one. You can even get a used Apple watch, a cheaper Apple watch. Definitely very useful right now. All right, so now for Apple News, you have all new search. This is huge for Apple News because sometimes, you know, you get in this app and there's just so much going on and you're like, I just wanna look for iPhone content. So you can just type in iPhone now and a bunch of iPhone content will appear. This is pretty neat because, you know, I spent a lot of time in the Apple News and I really enjoy that they're bringing search here to the news application. And there's a redesign news plus tab 
which is basically going to allow you to easier to just find the stuff you're looking for when it comes to using News Plus for magazines and things like that. So essentially just getting easier to use Apple News, little updates, but little ones that just make the experience more refined. So I don't have AirTags yet, but you can see in Find My, it does introduce AirTag support. So this is great. You need this update to use the AirTag. So get it if you're ordering some AirTags and it tells you what you can add. You can find your backpack, luggage, headphones, things like that. And you can see right there, improve notifications. But the real big one here is going to be the AirTag support. So go ahead and get this update, iOS 14.5, if you are planning to buy AirTags. Now you can see in Apple Maps, we do have some new updates as well, such as cycling, navigation, curated guides, which are gonna look better. The guide section definitely visually updated. See speed cameras and red lights cameras along your route. This is very crucial for people who are like, I'm not using Apple Maps, I'm gonna use Waze. I can't see those red light cameras. I can't, I can't see those speed traps. This is definitely going to be huge for you. So definitely this is going to be a great update for maps. All right. So I'm looking for pizza in Chicago. We're one of the greatest cities in the United States for pizza. That's just my own bias right there. But you can see right here, definitely you can see we do have really nice guides here for looking up, you know, places you're going to go eat. I really do love what they do here in Apple Maps. Now, this is very useful, especially if you wanna know, you wanna see a big photo, you wanna get a nice little description of what you're about to go slam. You know, this is definitely a nice little update here to Apple Maps. So really cool little updates to Maps. I think you'll like them. Again, it's, it's kind of like these little just refinements and we always like to see refinements right before 15, which should bring a lot more newer things to the board. Updates to 5G, giving you more smart data modes and things like that. So you can go ahead and manage your cellular with 5G. Really nice to see that on here. In addition, you do have your ability to use dual SIM now with 5G. So if you use that, pretty cool. If you're a Fitness Plus subscriber as well, you will be able to use AirPlay 2, which means you can basically stream voice audio. You can see the video directly on an Apple TV stuff like that. So if you're a Fitness Plus subscriber, nice little feature if you're definitely using this plus like an Apple TV, which I think a lot of people are because you'll wanna be on like an exercise bike or you'll wanna be on a mat and you'll wanna beam it up to the TV. So definitely a little neat update that makes it even easier to use. All right, so in Apple Podcast, you'll see right here, a little bit of a difference here when we come in. You'll see if we go to the search section, this definitely looks a lot different here. Browse category is very nice. If we go to library, you can see just a little bit of a difference here. This is 14.4.2, 14.5. You can see little icons next to that in library. And if we go over here to browse, you'll see pretty similar in this respect. It does look to me like if we go to listen now, you can see that pretty similar overall though. We are seeing our icon of, you know, our Apple ID over there versus this guy right here. Overall, a nice little neat update. You're getting little feature updates, but we should see more of this improve in the future as well. But this is a nice little update where you can search things and easier to find podcasts here in iOS 14.5. All right, guys, and also you have app tracking transparency. So if an app is trying to track you, it will, when you open it up, it will pop up with a little notification letting you know what's going down, if you wanna allow it and things like that. Now, if you go to privacy, you can also directly control this by going to tracking, allow apps to request a track, and you can go ahead and turn them on as they do come in. So that's gonna be a nice new security feature or just a little thing to give you a little bit more control and see what's actually going down with your apps in 14.5. Another new change is if you go into settings and you go to the search bar up at the top, you go to type to Siri, it's in accessibility. If you have this enabled, you can go here, hold down, and unlike before, it won't kind of take up the whole screen here. You can just see it here at the bottom. Of course, if you do start doing something like give me the weather really quickly, it will then pop up like this, but you can see it doesn't kind of take up the whole screen anymore. So that's very neat if you didn't like how it was like taking up the entire screen. It, it just matches the regular Siri better because the regular Siri went to not taking up the whole screen anymore. So why not put it for the type to Siri? So pretty nice. And then if we go back, since we're on a topic of Siri, if we go down here to Siri and search, there is new voices as well. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. 
Very nice. Nice new updates to Siri, giving you new voices, giving you a new type to Siri interface as well. So there are over 200 new emojis to iOS 14.5. Apple is always saying, hey man, you want some new emojis? Here you go. So let's go over here and check out a few. So there was one right here. That's a new one right there. If you haven't seen that one before, let me get a little bit closer. Right there, a little smoke all around the face. I believe that one's new as well. You can see right there. And then this dazed face, that one also looks kind of new right there. In addition, if we scroll down here, where the couples at? Let's find the couples. Couples in the building. All right, so over here, if we go to the couples, let's go ahead and find one right here. You can change the different skin tones and stuff like that. So pretty neat. You don't have to do the same exact, you know, skin tone when it comes to that. Now also, if we type in Fireheart, watch this, Fireheart, let's go right here. You can see we got an all new Fireheart right there as well. So another neat emoji, and the syringe as well is also new, but there's over 200 new ones that you might not have seen. The syringe is no longer all bloody and nasty. It looks more like the COVID-19 syringe, to be honest with you. But there you go. There's just a few new ones that I showed you right here, but there are over 200 new ones. And let us know. Just go ahead and put them in the comments down below. Just put the new emojis that you discovered. Just put them down there in the comments so people can see them and see for themselves what's new. Siri will now call for an emergency. So if you open it up, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to call the cops right now. Uh, but definitely, you know, if you do hit the Siri and ask it for calling an emergency, it'll give you a three second countdown and then you could decide if you want to go ahead and call for an emergency service. For iPhone 12 users, you will get the new iPhone 12 purple wallpaper. Let's just go ahead and set it right here since it's the latest color. You will get this update to get this wallpaper in 14.5 if you have an iPhone 12 or 12 mini. So that's pretty neat there as well. Now, if we go to the reminders application right here, you'll see you have the ability to print your list and sort reminders. So I'm not gonna go in there and talk much about that. It's pretty simple stuff. Just giving you a little bit more refined experience in reminders. Now, there's nothing really forward facing you're gonna see changed here on Safari, but Apple is tightening up security even more, kind of gonna limit the amount of data that Google can collect on users. So you're getting a little bit more safety again with Safari giving it a nice edge over Chrome if you want top dog privacy. You can definitely use Safari here for your iPhone. So getting a little bit more secure in iOS 14.5. So another neat new thing in notifications is at the bottom, you'll see emergency alerts. If you hit this, you turn this on, you have the ability to always deliver or have it off, which means that if it's off, you're not gonna get that buzzing every time. It'll still deliver, but it's not gonna make you go crazy. <laughs> SOS going off and you're like, come on, bro. You got time for this. Why you do, I'm trying to cook my meal and you're gonna go buzzing me crazy. So pretty cool right here that you do have this. Emergency alerts will not play a, a sound when an iPhone is in silent mode. So go ahead and put it in silent mode if that stuff drives you crazy like it does me sometimes. And screen tint turning green, that's gonna be fixed here in iOS 14.5 as well. Well, at least they're gonna try. So let us know if you're still getting green screen uh, issues on this phone or on the iPhone series at all. Let us know that in the coming days. But that's pretty much it with iOS 14.5. There's a lot more features I didn't cover in here. I didn't wanna be here all day. We just cover most of the main stuff, the very noticeable stuff that you're gonna see day to day. There is a lot of little bug fixes. You can read them, read more before you go ahead and download. I really recommend you read the read more if you wanna know all, every little thing that went down before you do your update, but I definitely recommend it. It's a major update. It gives a lot of nice refinements, a lot of new enhancements, and even more privacy and security to your iPhone. So go get iOS 14.5, and if you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, let me know down below with a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here, be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode, and peace.